Dylan? Come on in. Brenda, Dylan's here. Rick, I must go. Um, OK, I will see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Hey, Brian. Uh, is your dad home? I called his office and he said he went home early today. Yeah, he and my mom are going to go play golf. What's up? Well, my SAT scores came. I got a little problem. What's wrong? Didn't you do well? No, I did too well. They think I cheated. The SAT people aren't going to allow my score. What? They say the only reason I took it at West Lompoc High was so I could pay someone to take it for me. But you were visiting your father at Lompoc. Yeah. Tell it to the judge. Well, to tell you the truth, Dylan, I can understand why the red flag was raised here. Your scores went up over 300 points. You're kidding. No, Brendan, last time I took the test, I left early because you were in the hospital. Well, can't we just explain that to them? You could try. I'm sure there's an appeal process. Of course, there's another alternative. It would mean a lot less red tape. What is it? Take the test again. Absolutely not. Dylan. No way, Bren. I did not cheat. I took the test myself. I'm sure you did. And I understand. I know how you feel. But sometimes it's wise to identify the shortest route between two places. Not this time. I did not cheat. I'm not going to get away with it. I honestly didn't think the balloons would fit in the elevator. <laughs> you should have seen them in the car driving down Wilshire. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Kelly came over, Steve called, and Brenda and Dylan are on their way. <laughs> Can we sign your cast? I brought markers for everyone. Oh, absolutely. Pick a leg, any leg. Cool. <laughs> but be careful. <laughs> this isn't going to hurt, is it? I hope not. Listen, Dylan, I still can't stop thinking about the deal with those testing people. Oh, Bren, would you just give it a rest, OK? I don't want to talk about it. I just don't know why you won't consider taking the test again. Do you believe me? I mean, do you believe me, Brad? Of course I do. You've never lied to me, Dylan. And I've always respected and loved you for that. In fact, when I got back from France, the reason why I told you that I met that guy was because you've always been honest with me. Brenda, that's not necessarily true. What? While you were gone this summer, there was a girl. I'm sorry. How could you? Wait a minute. Can we be just talking about your little French fling, Brad? I think you know exactly how things like this happen. I told you about that when it happened. You could have told me about this, Dylan. It was being called a liar. I mean, it made me see what a hypocrite I can be. I just couldn't live with it. I'm glad you got your guilty conscience all cleaned up. Brenda, I am sorry. Who was she, Dylan? <sighs> was it that girl Stacy again? No. Then who? Who is not important, is it? I don't know. You tell me. No, it's not. Don't forget about spare me all the details. Just take me home, all right? Brenda, I, I needed to tell you the truth. Well, you did. I'm very impressed with your integrity. Now take me home.